Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're getting a little bit up close and personal. So I wanted to show you guys how I shave my face. I know it might sound a bit weird to some of you out there but this is something I've recently been doing and been loving for my skin. So let's get straight into this video. So I'm starting with a freshly washed face and I'm just applying some jojoba oil all over my face. And I'm just taking the opportunity here to do a little bit of oil cleansing as it's not something I do frequently and I do like to oil cleanse once in a while. So yeah, I just go ahead and rub that oil all over my face for a few minutes or so. So once I finish rubbing the oil on my face, I just go ahead and start to shave and I've got the blade at a 45 degree angle and I'm shaving downwards in the direction that the hair grows and I'm taking my time using small strokes and shaving a little bit at a time. If you have any spots, I suggest to shave around them just in case you cut yourself. I'm using jojoba oil because it regulates sebum in the skin and it's similar to the sebum that our bodies produce naturally. So I feel safe using jojoba oil on my face. I mean, I wouldn't usually feel so comfortable with applying oil on my face like that, but I have not had any breakouts when I've been using jojoba oil. And I have put other oils in my face and had a bad reaction. So jojoba oil would be a good choice. And I have sensitive skin, especially on my face. So I really have to be careful with what I do. And the reason why I use the oil to shave my face is because when I first shaved my face a few years ago, I did it completely dry and I ended up breaking out and I had a little bit of welts on my face as well just because of how sensitive my face is. I broke out so bad that I literally didn't want to do it again after that and then I left it for about a year or so and then I went ahead and tried using oil and this is way less abrasive and more gentle on the skin. So let's get into the reasons why I shave my face in the first place. So firstly, I'm quite hairy and I know we all have peach fuzz, but my peach fuzz gives my skin a grey, dull complexion and you know, I really have the winter glow going on so I really don't need any help from looking dull or grey. <laughs> so when I shave my face, it instantly gives me a more youthful appearance and my skin also looks more glowy and it feels much much smoother and plump and also when I wear makeup it just looks so flawless. And I don't cut into my Ashanti sideburns, I just shape them up for now and I'll come back to the sideburns once I've finished the rest of my face. I don't do this regularly, probably every three months or so, but I do remove my lady tash <laughs> whenever those hairs start to poke through. Those hairs are a little bit thicker than the rest of my face. And I just use a trimmer that I bought from Boots. It's one of those little electric ones specifically for facial hair for women. Because I can't wax my tash or use feet because I get allergic reactions from them. And if you're wondering if the hair grows thicker, for me, not that I can see, when it grows back, it looks exactly the same and I don't even notice it when it starts to grow back until it's actually fully back to this state. But I must say, if you do it once, you'll love the results and you won't go back because it just looks and feels so good. So if you do it once, be prepared to add this to your skincare routine because it's going to be here to stay.
I have a lot of blemishes on this side of my face because I just had a visit from Aunt Flo. But I'm so proud of how my face has improved over the past few months. Because last year I was breaking out really bad. I'm not really sure why, but I am currently breastfeeding, well, weaning now. So it could be hormonal or due to my diet as well, because that's not really been up to scratch. I don't know, but the skincare that I was doing for years no longer worked for me. And I used to use more natural products, and I literally only had two products in my routine. But now I have a whole four to five step system, but my skin really needed it. So if you're interested in seeing my skincare routine, subscribe to my channel. That video will be up next week. So stay tuned for that. So for the sideburns, I pull all the long hairs up and then I just trim diagonally down towards my jawline. And that's what I really do for the sideburns. I don't want it to look too fake and unnatural. And then I'm just taking a muslin square and wiping off the excess oil off my face. I will be washing it off later, but this is just to not keep the oil on my face for too long. Now with my brows, I just use a single Wilkerson razor blade and I've been using a razor blade ever since I was a teen. I've never had them done professionally or done by someone else before. And I used to tweeze in the very beginning, but I prefer to do painless methods. In the beginning, I used to get like these little slits on my fingertips. Not proper cuts, but just cut into my skin a little bit from handling the blade. But I've learned how to hold it in a certain way to not cut my fingers and to angle it in a certain way so I don't cut my skin as well. It just takes a lot of practice, really. I don't do too much. I just neaten up the straggling hairs underneath. And then I just do a straight line in the front at the bottom and at the top. And also I do a straight line at the tip as well on the bottom and the top. And then I just curve it around in the middle. Those are very vague instructions, but you can see it's, it is what it is. It's not that much of a routine. And usually I don't let my brows grow out like this at all. Every time I trim my tash, I will do my eyebrows as well with a single blade. I just let my eyebrows grow out so I can pull it in a video. So I've been meaning to do that. And also my tash is never usually grown out that much either. I usually do them weekly, so yeah. And because I do trim them every week, it's easier for me to maintain the shape that I do. So once I'm done shaving and trimming my eyebrows, I go ahead and take a muslin square. This is one of my son's old muslin squares that he no longer uses. And I wet that with warm water and I wipe the excess oil off my face before going ahead and washing my face as normal. I don't use my exfoliators or my serums after I've shaved my face just because I don't want to irritate it. So I just wash my face with my normal face wash and I just cream my face with my cream. I did this at night time, so this is my nighttime cream. That's all there is to it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, getting all up in my grill. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Stay safe guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.